Happy Homebrew Friggin' Wednesday, guys. It has been a while. A long while. I'm not dead, and I do have beer, so things aren't too bad. Mm. Ah, that is a smash beer. I didn't think I'd really like smash beers, but that one's not too freaking bad. So, what's going on? It is April, I think. I'm a tax accountant, so time just... Time now has no sense of meaning. It's just all hell and lots of hours, so... Is what it is. But I've got a couple points in this... This uh, Homebrew Wednesday that is going to be a disaster and clusterfuck, and I'm too lazy to edit, so... Hold on tight, boys. Um... I'm holding this beer up for a reason. Out of friggin' nowhere, I got beer mail. Um, I got it from uh, Elder, and I got it from a man, Nate Peacock. So check out, um, these beers are awesome. I love the names. The names are awesome. Um, they were perfectly packed. They look like they're perfectly filled. They're all crystal clear. I mean, I don't know if it'll show, but you can probably see my ugly mug through there. That'll give some guys a stiffy, just that clearness alone. But, uh... Holy shit, guys. I just, out of nowhere, I got a text from Elder, and he was like, Hey, you should be receiving a package in a day or two. And I was like, uh, is it a bomb? What? I was like, I don't, I don't remember ever sending anything to you guys. Um, we didn't even talk about it. Just out of nowhere, you know, got beer mail. Um, that's just, that's the awesomeness of Homebrew Wednesday. You know, I got in this in hopes, like, man, it'd be really cool to just meet, you know, SJ or Larry. You know, it, it, or, it, I mean, at no point did I ever imagine I'd meet, like, Paul. That's insanity. That was, like, an absolute, absolute bucket list, like, way down the road. And then to not only meet you guys, you know, that was awesome. But then what was even better was just, was meeting, you know, your spouses. And then also finding out that you're cool. You know, you guys are, you're good guys. I mean, it's just, cheers to the community. As a tax account, I run into a lot of shitty people, um... It's just nice, you know, it's nice to get, like, faith back in humanity to find out that there are good people in the world, so that's a big plus. But, uh, yeah, so let's let's check out some of the cool beers I got. Um, Speckled Heifer, so I'm assuming a Hefeweizen, but, uh, looks clear, looks awesome, 5.5%, nice, mellow down, easy black IPA. I like that, because then when you, <laughs> then when you look... 7.4%, so, not extremely mellow, but that should be good, I like that, I like the, uh, I like the possibilities there, this was the crown jewel, when I saw this, I just, like, I knew right away, I was like, okay, I'm not sharing this one, except probably with the misses, but, uh, holy shit, the dropkick Nate, I just love everybody, um, everybody's been brewing this, everybody's been talking about it, and I just haven't, you know, Tax account. This is times brutal for me. I just don't have time to brew. In fact, I don't think I brewed for almost like, I want to say probably, maybe four months. I thought six months, but that doesn't sound right. It has been a while. Um, then we got Dancing Savage IPA. Uh, this is awesome. 7.1%. Again, crystal friggin' clear. Awesome. Oh, for a second I was like, oh, I see a speckle. No, nothing. Crystal clear. Awesome job. Uh, what do we got here? Belgian Triple. I do love me a good Belgian Triple as like a nightcap. Or, you know, a pick-me-up the next day when you need motivation to go into work. Nothing goes better with a uh, Belgian Triple than an empty stomach because it just takes you straight to Hammertown. That's the way to be. And, you know, I love this. Uh, they got a, um, this is a uh, Smash Beer. It's a GP, so I'm assuming Golden Promise and Cascade, 5.9%. I don't know if I've ever brewed with Golden Promise. I think I did by accident when I first started out when I was doing like a one gallon kit. Um, I think I grabbed it by accident and I was I did like I did like a sniff test and I was like, smells like grain. It'll probably be okay. There's no differences between grains. I mean one grain's the same as the other. And then like halfway driving home, I just out of nowhere I was like, Well, if there's no difference between grains, I'm pretty sure they would just have one bit bag instead of fifty five different types. And so I was like, well, I hope this recipe doesn't turn out that bad. Long story short, I'm not dead, so it didn't turn out that bad. And then this one, oh man, this might be like the Nate, uh, the dropkick Nate. I don't know if I can share this one. 
This is just, this is awesome, man. Prickly Pear Pale Ale. I can't go on about just how awesome this community is. You guys are the best. Um, I don't contribute anywhere near as much as I should, and I'm going to. Like I was saying, I'm not trying to to give excuses, but it's just crazy for me right now. Um, it's like the second or third. Again, time has no meaning, but come 4.15, things will slow down for me, and I will finally get back to enjoying... Um, my homebrew, well, definitely more often, but also making homebrew and then sharing it. Um, I haven't even had time to, I have beers to send, I just don't even have the time to package them, so I'm getting to that. And, ooh, ooh it doesn't look like it, but she's definitely got some carbs in it. Um, that, that's leading me to my next and pretty much like last point. I need to ship some beer mail out. Um, technically, there's going to be three points, so I lied. There's three in total, two left. I'm decent at math. It's good for my career. So, one of the remaining two things. I have beer. I'm going to send it out. I have people I need to send it to. Um, I might actually have to hold off on uh, Brad and, and Nate's package because i, I got to up my game. They they did a phenomenal job. i got to make sure I send them something good. But um, i got to send stuff I know out to Wally. i got to send stuff out to Dan. And then I just talked about um, the peak. I just talked about Brad and Nate. Um, if there's anybody else that I am forgetting, can you make a comment? Or if we're friends on Facebook, hit me up on Facebook and just send me a private message. Or feel free to post it to my page and, and with the title, Hey Asshat, you forgot to list me in your video. Or you could do the same thing below. Keyword is asshat. If you put that in there, I'll know you watch. But um, seriously, guys, if I forgot you and I need to send you something, please let me know. Um, my it, Things are just crazy for me right now. Um, Absolutely crazy. I'm trying to catch up with everything, but there's just a lot going on. So if you could let me know, that would be awesome. And then last but not least, uh, one of the guys who was in the comp last year has finally got a homebrew page. I'm going to put it below. It's Dan. He is the man. He does all the crazy beers. I don't mean crazy in a bad way. I mean crazy in an amazing way. He researches the shit out of them. He makes sure that they're, uh, you know, they're true to the time period. If he does, if they're a time period beer, or if they're just something crazy, he thinks about everything, and he brings like a real culinary flair to um, to beer, and that's awesome. We need more than just hopheads out there. So uh, he's going to be in the comp this year. I am so excited. Uh, I'm even more excited that I'm going to be the Northeast Hub for the comp because that means if there's any extra beers from Dan, I get to keep them. In fact, I'm almost inclined to like not have a move on to the next round so I get all his extras. But that being said, Dan's such a good guy, there's no way that I would give him a bad score or anything. I want him to go on. I want people to try his beer, and I want... Because I feel like the farther he moves on, the more people will respect his amazing beer. So, I have rambled so long. If you guys made it to this end of the video, you friggin' champions. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. I'm going to try to get the videos up way more often than I was in the past. I'm also going to try to, I don't know, add intros or something to make these cool. But, thanks so much for watching, guys. From my glass to yours... I'm out. Cheers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.